Good afternoon and welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share a recipe that's new to me, but a friend that I graduated from high school with, Joyce Jenry, made this on her Facebook page, oh, probably a week and a half ago. In high school, Joyce was the most beautiful girl you've ever laid your eyes on, and nothing has changed. She's still as beautiful as she was then. But what I've noticed as I check Facebook, she and I cook a lot alike. We were both raised here in the country, and our mamas taught us to cook, so we cook country food. We fry okra, cook corn, peas, cornbread. But when she made this, like a, it was probably a, a week and a half ago, I said, oh, Joyce, this looks so good. I'd love to have your recipe. And she said, let me write it down and I'll send it to you. She said, what I did was I took bits and pieces from several recipes and put it together. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. And when I post the recipe later today, it's going to say Joyce's apple bread because that's what it is. The very first thing the recipe calls for is to mix your dry ingredients together. Now, I had already started doing this, and we had to stop and start over. So I'm going to tell you in here already, it's three cups of self-rising flour, a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, heaping means it's really heaped up on there. A fourth of a cup of baking soda, even though it's, even though it is a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Thank you for my husband, because I said a fourth of a cup. It's a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, although that is self-rising flour, she used it. And then it calls for two cups of sugar. All right, there's one. And two. Mixing all of this together. And you know, after I have mixed this much together, I really think I'm gonna have to have a bigger bowl before I mix everything else in. So let me get one. I'm gonna get my white enamel bowl. Okay, that's all my dry ingredients. Two cups of sugar, three cups of self-rising flour, a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of soda. Then you take three eggs, and in her recipe, she said whisk them before you put them in your dry ingredients. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now her recipe said you can just mix everything else together once you have done this. So, I'm going to put my eggs, my three eggs in here. I'm going to put a cup of vegetable oil. An eight ounce can of crushed pineapple with most of the juice drained. And I only had a big can, so I measured out eight ounces and then I'll, I saved the rest for something else, I have a feeling Harold's gonna eat it on his uh, ice cream tonight. But I'm just gonna kinda mix this much together. That cinnamon smells really good already. 
I've already chopped my apples. It, her recipe said two to three cups of chopped apples. I, I measured that out and it equaled four apples. That's how many I chopped to make the amount that it calls for two to three cups of chopped apples. Okay. They're a little dark because I chopped them before I started this, but you know when they cook, it's not gonna matter because they're gonna be cooked in with it. Anyway, so I've got my sugar, flour, cinnamon, soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, And y'all, this makes two loaves, so I'm glad, because I like to share. You know, I, our daughter lives right next door to us, so when I made the banana bread the other day, I took them half of it, so I'll get to take them alone tonight. All right, and the last thing that it calls for is a cup of chopped pecans. And I had already chopped them, and I'm just going to add those in there. Now, when this comes out of the oven, it's to cool just a little bit. And then it has a glaze that looks delicious. So, we'll taste this together because I have not tasted it. But I know if she made it... It is very good. Now I have sprayed both of my loaf pans with Baker's Joy. And I'm going to divide this into two loaves. good. Alright, you cook it in a 350 degree oven for 55 to 60 minutes. So I will check it at 55. It says it's done when a toothpick comes out clean. Our bread came out, the apple bread. It smells delicious. Now, I'm going to make the glaze to go over it. It was two tablespoons of melted butter and a cup and a fourth of powdered sugar, that's a cup, and that's a four, powdered sugar, all right, two tablespoons of milk, that's whole milk, Whoop. The recipe called for you to um, let it cool just a little bit where the bread is really just warm 
to uh, to put on the the glaze on the top. So it is. It has cooled a little bit. I don't think it's. It's still warm. I'm going to see what this is going to do. Y'all, this, it smells so good. Now, like I said, I haven't eaten this, but there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to be delicious because I know how Joyce cooks and everything she does looks so delicious. And I like this. It, it almost looks like a cinnamon roll uh, top. It's not a glaze glaze, but I really do like the way that looks. Have to get every bit of that goodness. Make sure, because we know that's good. This wasn't hard to do, and it makes two loaves and I know it's delicious. I hope you've had a great day. I've been canning this morning. I bought some tomatoes yesterday and I canned them and uh, then made this and it's a good day. It's a real good day. But you know what? Whenever you're out, even with a mask on, you smile. Because people can see if you're smiling by your eyes. Your eyes tell a story. And I hope that you will be salt and light for Jesus. He wants us to be the light and the salt of the earth. And I hope that in some little way that I can encourage you to do that. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.